Hey guys, Earl from BP1 Sports Network here. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial, hopefully quick, on how to hook up Sweet CG to Sling Studio and use a chroma key for an overlay so you can get a score bug on your um, sports broadcast. Um, a lot of uh, people ask about score bugs and putting them in their, broad, in their broadcast. We've been using Sweet CG for a while and it has worked great for us. And I know uh, seen a lot of comments about using score bugs. And uh, this is really one of the best ways to do it is to use uh, the program Sweet CG. And first I'm gonna go through real quick how I have this set up so you can kind of see and then you can kind of modify it if you need to for your um for your setup. So we have a um laptop here that's running Sweet CG. I'll go ahead and I already just have a session pulled up. Basketball game from last night. So what I'm doing, we used to we ran Sweet CG on an old this old uh, Dell laptop here. It's about a 10 year old Dell and it worked fine. It's got an HDMI out over here and we'd come HDMI out into Sling. So I'll, but um, we decided that the reason we swapped computers is because this one here is touchscreen and Sweet, Sweet CG is really made to be used kind of with a uh, touchscreen computer. So we swapped over. And this is not a beefy computer. Just one I got fairly inexpensive off of Amazon. And we just use it for uh, Sweet CG. We've actually used a Telestrator program on it as well. But So what we're doing here is coming off of this laptop, HDMI out, over to Sling to the HDMI in. Sling has a HDMI in, and that's showing up as our source. This is the other screen from our laptop. I've got it set, set up as multi-display. So this is one screen and this is the actually the other display from this computer here. So another thing I have set up as I went ahead and set up a, just a little camera like you would have your camera going to a camera link for your sports. That's what this one is. So I've got not baby Yoda, old Yoda here helping us out. So with that being said, I'll show you guys how we set it up or how we, how we have set it up in the past to run Sweet CG and get a score bug into Sling. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go download uh, NDI tools from Newtech. You just Google NDI tools, download it. It doesn't take that long. It'll ask you for an e email address. It'll send you a link to your email go to the link and it'll download the tools that you need. Cause you have, there's a program in there called NDI monitor that you need to get sweet CG over to your other display. And so that program, once you load it, it's gonna show up as NDI tools. You're going to want to run Studio Monitor. I already have it pulled up. And it's going to show up. Right here. So what is that? What NDI Monitor is doing, SweetCG creates an NDI output. This is a monitor that'll take an NDI input. So this is outputting to this. So whatever this is sending out, if you do your matchup, it's gonna show up here. So we want this to show up over here on this screen. And well, the one and the one thing in your settings on Sweet CG is go under settings. I set this to chroma key green. Just leave it at the default. I think it's normally set to transparent, but just click on chroma key. That's what gives you your uh, green background. 
Otherwise, it'll be transparent. Get back over to our status. Now with this monitor, this is just a floating window. What I like to do is when it comes up is just maximize it, takes up this screen. Now I want this to come over here to this screen. Right click and it'll bring up your output. You see your output. And you're gonna to wanna to set that to monitor too. And you'll see what happens. Go over here, monitor two, it went away. But what happened was it showed up on our other display over here. So now we have a multi-display laptop with the display over here. So now that you have your screen over here, we need to set up this source for Sling as a chroma key. And you do that by clicking on the three dots, chroma key, and it'll bring you this screen here. And really the default settings, you may have to play with it a little bit, but the default settings are really close to what you need to use and you just check, use chroma key, it, so you see it wipes out. You can mess with some of these down here and get rid of the little lines or things like that to your liking. Save it, and now, it looks like it disappeared, but it's HDMI is hiding. But now you have a chroma key source over here. And all we need to do to, we want it down here. This is your program where your game's going to be running. I just double click. It shows preview and program, but it shows up down here in the. And with your other sources, when you're clicking on these, this will stay overlay in your sources. So whatever's happening here is controlled by over here. So if we go back to our score bug. Our score book shows up here. If we have a score change here, clock's running. So it's really not a very difficult process. And I found once I have this set up on my computer, normally when I bring up NDI monitor, it typically will show up over here. Otherwise, you may have to go back through that process of clicking on monitor two and getting it over there because it is sometimes difficult when it's over here to drag it back over over here if you need to do something. So hopefully that helps you guys get Sweet CG running in Sling. We, um, You can see here on ours, I, we run a we run a video beginning, and then I overlay this on the top. I'm using VMix now, so this is actually a VMix. I use a combination of score bugs. So if you see this running before the show, once we get into our game, this is actually this is all sweet CG driven. So I've um created a, a graphics uh, score bug in vMix and it puts all of the, the data in here and you can kind of make your own score bugs. But the package that uh, Sweet CG already has is looks pretty professional to me. We just like to mess around with things and see if uh, that's obviously a more of a NBA looking kind of score bug. So I'm old. Leave this video up here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put some uh, comments in there and I'll do the best that I can to answer. If you have any suggestions, certainly open for those because uh, all of us out there are trying to be as creative as we can to um, bring sports to uh, everyone over the internet. 
So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps and uh, have fun uh, shooting some sports broadcast.